we started October 15th, and, and uh, we're also excited about the young men that we have in the program. Coach Lewis has done a heck of a job of, of recruiting, and uh, we're looking forward to the year. Uh, we face a lot of challenges in the, in the fact of bringing a group of young men together. Uh, the last two years have been long years for us uh, due to, uh, I think that I forgot a little bit about the process and became expedient in the winning thing and forgot about the development of a culture. Uh, some people know that a couple years ago, several years ago, that we finished second twice in this league and had a chance and I think that uh, I became a little bit more obsessed with winning than, than continuing to establish a culture. And so we're hopeful to get back to that, that culture building and our kids are responding uh, fairly well to that. I think our leadership is good and uh, we're looking forward to you. Same thing, Coach, uh, that I asked Coach Thompson. What, um, you know, what do you like about this group so far that, that this really Something you think you can hang your hat on to start the season and, and, and start building on, and then what's uh, you know what are you going to fix pretty quickly? Well, again, I like our willingness to learn at this point. Now I've been in this profession now 40 years, so I mean I understand that everybody at this point in the season is pretty pretty good. Their attitudes are good. How they handle success and failure throughout the course of it, adversity and success, uh, both ways, uh, is is going to be the determining factor in in how good they get to be. They have a willingness, I believe, to try to come on and be a team on both ends of the floor. Uh, we've got a long ways to go there simply because we've got so many new kids that are learning new terminology and also the way their teammates play. And, uh, and then they're learning what the strengths of, the, of their game is. A lot of players in basketball don't know who they are. They try to be everybody they see on TV and they get a little bit confused about who they really are and what their strengths are and how to play to their strengths and stay away from their weaknesses. And uh, so they're, they're learning a little bit about that and they're learning each other and trying to read their, their teammates' uh, strengths and weaknesses. But I do like their willingness to come together and, I, I, and the, the work ethic that we have, have shown basically. Now we, we started to really develop an edge in our work ethic, especially I, I really like last night's practice. I felt it was a, the best practice that we've had and I can see some of the things that we've been stressing over the first 20 some practices starting to come together now. If we can continue to grow that and build upon that, we'll be, we'll be fine. If something gets in our way and we fall off, then we only have ourselves to blame. We're going to have to get over humps and everything else. That's just a process of, of going through the season, through the team building and all that stuff. So uh, I like their willingness to learn. I think we can move. Uh, we have some athletes. I think we can be a real physical team. Uh, so we, we also possess a, a, a possibility of great versatility in stretching the floor, but also playing in the quarter court in a, in a very powerful way. And, and we hope to, by the end of the year, be able to exploit that versatility and make it tough on teams, both in the full court and the quarter court, on both ends of the floor. <clears throat> Um, again, same thing. Can you break down your roster as far as uh, seniors all the way down? We have three seniors who uh, have played with us several years. Each one of them played for us at least two years. <coughs> and, uh, they have they've really embraced their their leadership roles this year, and I think they're really trying to lead. We have two juniors. And they're both transfers out of Cedar Valley who ended up as a finalist in, in last year's junior college championships. Uh, once Justin here, 6'6", six, six young man, and the other 6'8", and uh, they both will have an impact on our interior game. And then the rest of our kids are all freshmen and sophomores. So we have a nice mix. Uh, and if our upperclassmen continue to lead and our underclassmen continue to grow, and, I, and through leadership, we all right, we'll be fine. All right, guys, uh, so we got Christian. Um, your thoughts on what you've seen from this group so far? What's, uh, what's I guess, what's your favorite thing? What's, what's, what's the thing that just really makes you want to come to practice every day and, 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 and get better as, as a player? Uh, something about this group that we maybe haven't seen in the last few years is just a hunger. I think everybody coming in, the returners are hungry to put away the past two seasons we've had, and the newcomers are, they're eager. I mean, we got two guys coming off a national tournament appearance, 
national championship appearance and they're ready to take this program to that same level. And I think we're, we just compete every day in practice. I mean, we can be friends, we can be boys off the court, but when it's time to compete, we compete. And that's something I love to see. We, we're going to leave a little skin on the court, like Coach Davis likes to say. We'll bleed for each other, whatever it takes. Uh, we just have a group that wants to win, wants to compete, wants to learn, and wants to grow together. And I think that's really special. And Justin, you're you're one of the new guys, right? One of the transfers. What are you gonna What are you gonna bring to this team? What are you gonna you know come in and, and how do you how do you fit in as as a new guy, but also as somebody who's who's been through the battles too? You know, what do you what do you bring to to this team? Well, I'm looking to bring uh, physicality and uh, <coughs> rebounding edge to this team. Um, the last couple of years, the um, the rebounding percentages have been down. So then the other transfer, Chad Williams, we're looking to bring that inside presence that they haven't really had in the last couple of years. And um, I think I'm fitting in very well. The guys have embraced embraced us um, by some new transfers and freshmen uh, with open hands, you know what I'm saying? Um, these guys are ready. I'm talking about ready to put it out all, all on the court. Their heart is open. They're ready to learn. I mean, coming out this national championship run we just had in Cedar Valley, I mean, I'm ready for more. I'm ready to learn more and more and more every day. I mean, we leave it out there on the court every day. We, so it's just a new thing for me and some more of these new guys, but we're ready to push forward. Okay. All right, I'm good. Yeah, I kind of like what uh, yeah, we asked the ladies. Just, just both of you give us an idea of some of the team goals this season. I mean, you kind of touched on it a little bit. Give us some of your team goals that uh, uh, this team wants to accomplish, and maybe also something you, you, know, you want to do as an individual for this team. Um, I would say, as far as team goals, even though we've had some rough patches the last few years, we have our sights set on nothing less than a championship. Uh, we have the saying we say, uh, champions don't want to be treated like everyone else. So we got to be willing to do the, the hard things, the stuff that nobody else wants to do to get there. And I feel for myself, um, Coach Davis touched on, you know, a few years ago we were a second place finisher. I'm the last person left off that team. And I want these young guys to experience that. I want these guys to get to the conference tournament and get to experience that because it's something they'll never forget. And I don't want anyone to have to leave here without it. And I'm eager to get back to it. Um, I think anything less than a championship push would be unacceptable for us at this point. Yeah, just like Christian said, um Nothing less is in a championship. I mean, the feeling to get there and to lose at the championship game that I had last year, I mean, I'm ready to get back there. This team, I think this team is is even more ready than I am. I mean, it's just something about this team that I, I really like. I mean, it's a, it's just something I want to do. My personal goal is to get back. I mean, that was the best thing I ever had uh, done done. I don't, I only uh, play basketball for, um, this is actually my third year ever playing basketball, so to make it to a national championship last year was, was a great feeling. So I'm ready, I'm ready to get back with these guys, with a new culture and everything that we're bringing to the table. Right. Well, Lewis has usually a lot more to say. I, I was very disappointed when, when Christian said, you know, he, he, what he looked forward to practice wasn't just to see my face, but he didn't say that. Coach, you got anything to add? Yeah. Talk about how good your travel partners are. You know, how nice it is to travel with women's uh, basketball. I love traveling with women's basketball. <laughs> On a more serious note, I think we've been here for seven years, and outside of our second year, uh, second year recruiting class, I think this recruiting class has a great balance between point guards, wings, and the posts. Our point guards are very young this year, but I'm very excited about Chris Hines. I think he can grow into a championship point guard because he's eager to learn and he understands how to utilize his teammates, <coughs> and he's growing in that area. So I'm kind of excited, and I'm hoping that even though Chris is a a freshman point guard, I think if we can get into the conference tournament, that will be one of the toughest teams. We'll be a tough battle, so I'm pretty excited about that.
Vince Lombardi said, if ifs and buts were candy and nuts, we'd all have a Merry Christmas. <laughs> so we got it. We, we, you know, and if we, I, if we get there, I think we'll be a tough out. Uh, we've got to take care of our business day in and day out, possession in, possession out, not take any possessions off in practice or games, and learn how to, to play quality possessions by playing hard, smart together and together each and every day. Uh, and when if we don't do that, we'll only have ourselves to blame. And that's not easy to do. It takes a lot of discipline. And discipline, as was said over and over again last night, <laughs> discipline is the refining fire in which talent becomes ability. So if we can discipline ourselves so that we make our talents into abilities, whether it's passing and catching a ball or the way we defend, we'll have a shot. But if we're undisciplined, and don't take that talent to become ability, then again, we only have ourselves to blame. Good deal. All right. <laughs>